Rebecca and Ben's story is our story. They represent the millions who've worked hard and scrimped and sacrificed and retooled. Well, new details tonight on the woman you just heard uh, who was spotlighted. You just heard spotlighted in, in Tuesday's State of the Union. Rebecca Erler was a guest of the First Lady as the president highlighted her family as one that was facing its fair share of their hard times, regular Americans representing the millions. Then people started raising questions when it came out that she worked on a Democratic Senate campaign and met with the president just last June. Chris Dyerwaltz is our Fox News digital politics editor. He joins me now. So Rebecca is apparently involved in Democratic Party politics. How does that affect her standing as a witness? Well, uh, there's nothing wrong with being a partisan. Uh, that's cool. We have a system that's based on that. There's no problem there. The problem comes in when the president passes off uh, this person as just a, a random mom, a, just a hardworking mom out there who wrote a letter to the White House to share her story, and golly gosh, she was great. Well, why do you think they liked her so much? They liked her so much because she was already good at issuing Democratic talking points because that's what she had done as a campaign worker uh, and uh, when she was at Washington State. That was her earlier career. They said she did career retraining. The previous career uh, was campaigning for Democrats. So I'm sure they liked her letter, and I'm sure they liked the idea of using her as the example because she'd stick to the script. Well, why, why does it matter? I mean, Rebecca, you know, she has she splurges on Fridays with pizza night. That, that counts. Just because she's a that Democrat, counts. she worked for Patty Murray to get her reelected. I mean, well, how does that make her story any less persuasive? Look, I'm no prude, and I, I certainly don't, uh, I have a very low expectation for uh, forthrightness when it comes to politicians. Uh, I've been in this <laughs> town long enough. for you on that. I'm, I'm long, I've been here long enough to know that you, uh, will be, you will be instantly disappointed if you do otherwise. But, but, when you talk about authenticity, when you are draped with this terrible, leaden attitude that the president carries forward about laying it on straight, real stories, real people, on and on and on. And if it turns out that the story may be real, uh, but the talking points may be doctored, that is yet another asterisk. This is a president asterisk again that you go through and you say, well, yes, uh, technically it all qualifies, but there's a little something we left out and forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know why this administration, why this president struggles with trust, with confidence, with other things, all those small things add up. It's not just if you like it, you can keep it, but all of the small things that add up to a feeling for the American people that this is not on the level and this administration is not leveling with them, uh, that counts. Chris, good to see you. Good to see you. Coming up, the new